Cold 45 Hero here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a subscriber, if you're new, welcome. Today I'll be showing you guys five pretty cool tips. Some of them will help with combat. Some of them will just be make the game a little bit more immersive. However, let's get into this. So, first pretty cool tip I would give some of you and a lot of you should already know these. Unless you're new to the game, then they'll be pretty good, pretty good and useful for you. So the first tip I'd like to show is this one. Here, you can't see the background. You see how the background is very blurry and you can't really see anything? Well, if you would like to switch that, in order to do that, all you're going to have to do is go into your settings here. Go to your down to your display. Go to your in-game depth of field effects and turn that off. And then nothing will get blurry like that. Which is, I always play with it off. I like it a whole lot more like this. Alright, now for the second tip, this one's really cool. Um, open up your phone, go to your web browser, and a lot of people might know this and a lot of people might not. I'm not sure. However, if you're in your web browser, you can actually use your touchpad as a mouse and even a clicker. If you want to click on something, you can just press your touchpad in. That's obviously a PS4 exclusive tip there. But yeah, I'm, I'm literally using my touchpad, which I think is just lovely. I love that feature. Alright, moving on. Next, this one's going to be good for people who like explosives. So, if you're in cover like this, you can, with a grenade launcher, you can look around, cover, and you can press R2 to rapidly shoot explosives, which will enhance the fire rate of your grenade launcher by quite a bit. Also, moving on to the fourth tip here, you can also lean around corners with your homing launcher as well as your R2. Like, this is, this is some pretty basic stuff for people who have been playing the game for a long time. However, if you're new, this will be extremely useful for you. And uh, last but not least, here you go. Um, go to your settings, go to your controls, and for your... You can do this, obviously, modify both your third and your first person control types. However, if you... I personally like, there's all sorts of different configurations. You'll just have to figure out which ones you like the most, um, but... I play a standard with my third person, but for first person I play a standard FPS, which actually makes it feel just like Call of Duty. So I sprint with L3, which is pretty cool, really cool, makes it feel like just like Call of Duty or any first person shooter typically does, aim with L2, fire with R2, and I hope these tips were pretty useful for some of you. If they were, go ahead and like the video, subscribe. I'll post plenty of more tutorials in the future as well as some good montage videos. Alright, thank you all for watching. I'm out of here.